South Dakota will have a new attorney general in the first week of 2023. And it looks like it will be a familiar face. Former Attorney General Marty Jackley did not have to do much campaigning to win back his old seat. We sat down to talk about his plans for his third term as AG. Look at the upcoming November ballot and you will see Jackley is the only candidate in the race for Attorney General. In a little more than six weeks, he will officially become Attorney General-elect. I mean, technically I have to receive one vote. Jack Lee will become the state's top law enforcement officer on January 7th. You spent 10 years in that office. How are you going to feel going back? It feels good. I've already begun that process. Uh, I had an opportunity earlier this week to meet with the interim attorney general, start talking budget. Uh, there were a lot of friendly, familiar faces, but there's also some new faces. You know, there has been a challenging time where... Uh, there's about a third of the DCI agency that had left. Uh, there's about 17 positions open, and so it's a great opportunity to begin filling those, to, you know, to mold what the DCI looks like, and so I'm looking forward to it. Um, what will be changing? Anything changing from your last tenure? You know, certainly there's always change. I mean, law enforcement becomes more sophisticated as I look at things that are going on in the, the forensic lab, that there's more opportunities to use science and forensic to solve crimes. Jackley talked about an uptick in violent gun-related crimes in the state's two largest cities, including officer-involved shootings. He says finding ways to help stop this trend will be a top priority. I do. I mean, that opportunity comes because I had four years to re-energize. Um, the background of having been a U.S. attorney and attorney general is good. It's a difficult case. Jack Lee was also state's attorney earlier in his career in Jones and Hawkins counties. I look forward to stepping in in January. Uh, it's being a good. It's been a good transition that uh, you know, Mark Vargo, who's serving as interim attorney general, has been gracious to allow the transition to happen. He's part of the DCI uh, director hiring committee, and so I think those are all going in the right direction. Now, along with an acting attorney general, South Dakota currently has an acting DCI director, a position Jack Lee will be ready to fill shortly after he's sworn into office.